name was Jason, and today is his birthday. What's up guys, Saha Man back with another review. We are going to be taking a look at the brand new NECA Toys Friday the 13th Ultimate Jason Voorhees figure based off of the 2009 film. I picked this up at Target. Uh, if you guys, you know, if go check your local Targets because these are starting to hit all over. If not, you can use my link in the description below for BigBadToyStore.com. They do have this guy available right now. It'll save you the trip. All right, guys, so looking at the packaging, I love the artwork on here. I, I guess you can say just the, the packaging on here. I love the the Jason Voorhees mask, the hockey mask, and you have the little shadows, and then it just reads Friday the 13th. It's very simple, but yet very creepy. Uh, right here on the top, you have Jason Voorhees with his machete. On the side, you got the same image there, same thing on this over here. And then on the back, you have the different ways that you can display Jason and you know all the accessories that he does come with. And of course, this is a flap, so you can open this up, and then you have the figure on the left, and then you have the big open window on the right that reveals all of his accessories. Let's go ahead and open him up and take a close look at Jason. Let's see if he's a pickup or a pass. All right, guys, so let's get into the accessories that Jason does come with. First off, the insert that comes in the packaging, you have the Camp Crystal Lake. This is really nice. Again, I love that they include these because they come, you know, they're perfect for photos. So you get that really cool insert there. And then as far as accessories go, we'll go over uh, the interchangeable hands. He, he does come with one interchangeable hand and this is obviously to hold one of his weapons. And you can see it's uh, hands obviously has some, a lot of dirt to it. Uh, he does come with an ax. So you can see the ax there. You got the blades, very shiny. And then you also have the the uh, fire poker. I was gonna call it a pitch ax, but you got a fire poker. It does come with that. And then he has a kind of a type of a hammer. I forgot what you call this. It's pretty much like a hammer, but I could be wrong. Uh, but he does come with this accessory here and this one does have a little bit of rust to it. He also comes with a screwdriver. I actually like how the, the uh, tools uh, look in this accessory set. They, they look lifelike, you know, obviously in a smaller version, but he does come with a screwdriver and then he comes with a very oversized machete. Uh, no blood on it, surprisingly. That's a little bit sharp on the end. The blade is a little, a little rusty and then you have the handle. Fantastic look for the machete. And then you also get an interchangeable head sculpt. This is the sack head and you can see Jason's eye right through the eye hole there. But uh, the detailing on the wraps and everything look Good, so fantastic paint job. NECA always knocks it out of the park and then there's the bottom there, so we can just pop that in the body. And then you also, of course, have his signature hockey mask. And it looks just like it did in the movie. Again, the weathering on this looks fantastic. And then you have these straps right there and then there's the inside look at the mask. So let's bring out Jason. And here he is, guys, in all his glory, the long-awaited ultimate Jason Voorhees figure. So he looks fantastic. I mean, with the mask on the actual body, this looks very good. We'll remove the, the hockey mask so you guys can see the head sculpt. And look at this. He's missing his upper lip. He's got an underbite, the teeth are all messed up. I like the flesh or the skin. The way they did the skin, it, it has like a slimy, wet, like paint application to it, especially in the neck area. You can kind of see it's a little, it has that little like wet look to it. Um, but the sculpting on the head looks awesome. You got the white eye, you can see his eyebrows, and then you have, you know, some of the strands of hair. You can obviously see that he is balding just a bit. So the head sculpt on this guy looks fantastic. You have his jacket and then you can see the detailing that they did on the sleeves and you have the zipper this is a soft rubber material for this part the arms is are sculpted on you could probably remove this but it's going to look funny with the sculpted sleeves uh, so you can see he's got looks i was going to say it looks like little pockets on there but i think that's just the way the jacket is designed so you can see some pockets here and then more of the detailing right here on the back of the jacket. And then again, it's got some weathering to the jacket as well. And then you have his undershirt, and this has a lot of dirt and tears to it. Very cool. And you have his belt, not his belt, I'm sorry, his little uh, this tool bag, so you can apply, so you can you know put some of the accessories in there, and then you, so you can see the little detailing on there. And then you have his dirty jeans. You can see some of the stitching on there too. It's all full of holes and scratches and dirt and whatnot, so you can see some more tears right there in the pants. There's the back of the pants. And then you have the bottom, the shoes, they do have, he does have peg holes there. 
and there's a close-up on the boots. So overall, I mean, this guy looks great. Let's get into the, uh, the articulation before we interchange the head sculpt. So Jason, as far as articulation goes, the head does rotate, goes up and down. The arms do go in and out. So good thing this is a soft rubber material because none of this is gonna hinder Jason's articulation. Go forward and back. He's got a bend at the elbow, lower arm rotation. The hand can rotate and it also has a hinge. He has rotation at the waist. He kind of goes forward and back. It doesn't look like he has an ab crunch. The legs do go in and out, forward and back. He's got a bend at the knee, upper leg rotation. Try not to rotate this one too much because you might break off of this harness here. Um, he's got some lower leg rotation. The foot can go kind of go up and down. You can slightly rotate it and kind of tilt it, you know, side to side. So he's got some pretty good range of motion. Here we have Jason Voorhees with the sack head and holding onto the machete. So he does hold onto his accessories very well. And the cool thing about this is interchanging the head sculpts is very easy. It's not like the Pennywise one where you have to, or other NECA figures where you have to put them in hot water or soak them in hot water to loosen up the joint. This pops in and out very easy. And I must tell you, this is definitely a figure you're going to want to of just so you can display Jason with the sack head and with the hockey mask because this guy looks fantastic. Super happy with the way this came out. The cool thing about this right here, I mean, you can put some of the uh, some of the tools that he has in his little sack here, or you can actually put the machete in there as well. So it's really up to you on how you want to display Jason Voorhees, but I think that looks awesome. There you have it, guys. There is my review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new NECA Toys Friday the 13th Ultimate Jason Voorhees figure based off of the 2019 film. Uh, 2019, 2009 film. I wasn't a big fan of the film. Uh, I love Jason Voorhees. I love the opening sequence of the movie, but after that, in my opinion, it kind of went downhill from there. But I mean, if you're just a Jason Voorhees fan in general, you're definitely going to want to pick this up. And I always loved the look of him in the 2019 film. It's definitely, 2019, I keep on saying that, 2009. It's definitely a pickup, but I wanna know your guys' thoughts. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? And what is your favorite version of Jason and Voorhees? What's your favorite film? And what's your favorite look of Jason? Let me know down below in the comments and thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you guys haven't. We will see you soon for more reviews. Later, guys. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends.